So this year, the divorce rates are increasing, the domestic violence is increasing, infidelity rate is increasing. Amongst all of this, you might ask yourself the question, is it wise to get married in this time or is it wise to go out, pick up some girls and work on my dating life? Now guys, this video, I'm going to talk about that. First of all, I want to share some of my personal experience. Now, of course, multiple men who've gone through a divorce, messy breakup, infidelity, and all of that. And what I've realized is because of the abundance and because of the technology making everything easier, infidelity rates, domestic violence, divorce rates are increasing. Because now dating is not a very big deal. There's not a barrier to entry. All you need to do is download an application on your phone. There are applications for guys who want to cheat on their wives. There are applications for that kind of things as well. There are applications if you want to hook up with someone. There's an application if you just want to meet someone, go out and do whatever. So as the technology Technology has improved, dating has become way more easier and convenient. And because of that, in today's world, it is creating an impact. Now, if you think about the statistics, all right, there's only 1% of marriages that end up in divorce. But these statistics are not always right because at the end of the day, there's so many women and men in bad relationships stuck together because of the social conditioning. That's when the domestic violence happens. That's when the infidelity happens because they cannot leave each other because of the parental pressure, the societal pressure, the social conditioning. So they're not, they cannot leave each other, right? But the divorce rate statistically is just 1% and it's increasing by 50%, you know, from the past few years. So if you think about it, most of the people who cannot take a divorce are actually stuck in dead-end marriages, which means they're not attracted to the partner. They don't really feel like talking to the partner when they wake up. They have to see their partner's face every fucking day, but they can't do anything about it. And that's sort of a helpless situation. So if you want to safeguard yourself from that kind of a situation, I would suggest watch this video very carefully. Now, according to my personal opinion, a guy should probably end up getting married once he has his finances sorted once he has a career you know a career which actually makes him some money he's financially stable and he can take care of his family and all of that of course the right age i think would differ from person to person from place to place because at the end of the day the mindset of the people really do matter and you know maybe you're a person who is well settled at the age of 23 24 i would not suggest getting married at that time because at that time you don't know what compatibility is you meet the first woman who's giving you good reactions you get attracted to her and you think okay this is going to work out for the good but you really don't know what compatibility is so i would suggest and guys this is just my opinion Everyone is entitled to have an opinion and my opinion is a guy should get married when he's 35. Personally, that's something that I'm going to do. Maybe get married at 33, 35 and find a really attractive girl who's 26, 27 at that age and probably settle down with her. But at the end of the day, there are multiple variable factors which will come into play and I'll tell you about that. Now, the first thing is, how is your lifestyle like? If your lifestyle is like you're sitting at home, you're jerking off, you're not doing anything, maybe you're working, you're doing a job, you're going to your job, you're coming back, after coming back, you're just putting on some Netflix and you're just relaxing, having a beer and chilling at home, then I think a marriage is a good option for you because at the end of the day, if you're not taking any action in your dating life, might as well get fucking married because that's just going to be an empty and a lonely life what you're living right now. But I would also strongly suggest if you can muster up the courage and you can go out, which you should, you should check out different videos on our channel that's going to help you with that. You should go out, take some action in your dating life because even if you get married like that, that is not going to be the end of it. You know, even if you get married like that, that's going to be a dead end marriage as we were talking about. So there is no point getting married like that. All right. What you need to do is you need to work on your dating life. You need to improve yourself, build yourself as a man, go out there, see what's out there, see the dating scene, see what kind of girls you're compatible with, what kind of girls you're attracted to and try to get them. A lot of it also depends on how your cultural conditioning is. Funny enough, I was talking to one of my friends from Germany. He's a German guy and he's telling me, hey man, uh, we have a concept of open open relationships over here, open marriages over here, and people don't really you know, believe in the old ways over here. And I was pretty amazed to see that. And I'm sure, you know, in, maybe it's just in Berlin or it must be in the capital city and in the outskirts, people still have the same old ideology, what we have over here. So it also depends a lot on your culture and your cultural conditioning. Now, if you think about it, a person in a small village in India is probably going to get married at the age of 22, 23, or maybe 19 or 20, right? A person, you know, maybe in the West is probably going to hold it off till like 35, 36, 37. But I feel the right age is 33 to 35 for men and for a woman, it's below 30. Because, guys, there's a reason behind it. Because biologically speaking, women have 80% less chances of conceiving after the age of 30 because their biological clock is ticking. So, women should get married before 30 while men should try to hold it off. Or like hold it off as much as you can because you should accomplish your financial goals first. You should accomplish 
what you've decided for your own self first all right build an empire build a great career build a business whatever you have decided for your own self complete that task first before you think about getting married because at the end of the day even if you get married and you know you're unable to do all the things that you've decided for yourself that would be a resentful life so try to hold it back but i understand some people might be like hey man my parents the society everyone is pressurizing me to get married especially after this you know pandemic situation i've seen a lot of my friends are getting married because the parents are in a constant fear of of course they're old and they 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 think that okay i might lose my life because of the pandemic and because of the uncertainty that is surrounding us in this day and age and that's why they want their sons they want their daughters to get married because they want to see their marriage they want to experience them getting married and guys i would always suggest that at the end of the day if you're not financially stable if you don't have a career do not do that because i had a friend all right this guy is 33 years old and this guy was into depression all right he was sort of depressed and he thought his way out of depression would be marriage and he wouldn't work he wouldn't do anything all right he was just kind of depressed kind of lonely and i also tried to help this guy but this guy didn't even want any help he's like no man i i just want to I just want to get married and get done with this you know I just probably a wife will fix me and he did get married all right he did get married he found a woman who was ready to marry him and he's not earning a lot he was not doing much in his life because of his depression he's probably staying at home for a very long time he ends up getting married thinking that the marriage will change his life but after 6 to 8 months i think somewhere around 8 months his wife leaves him just leaves him disappears goes to her family home and the reason guys it's very simple this guy has no idea about attraction this guy has never picked up girls before he has never dated multiple women before so he has no idea how to deal with a woman all right he has no idea how to maintain that relationship that bond and also how to build on that bond and because of that the girl just leaves him because in 8 months she realizes that she can do a lot better than just staying there you know like a vegetable waiting for the guy all day or you know waiting for him to be intimate because he I'm sure he did not have the idea about how to also be intimate with women so the girl just leaves him disappears and this is not only him I've I've heard several stories like this I've heard several stories now there was another client I met back in the day and this client had very less sexual experiences with women and his wife funny enough she had a couple of more sexual experiences with men so this guy was actually kind of pissed he judged his wife and you know because of the social conditioning that how can she do that how can she hook up with more guys than how i can hook up with girls he just started judging himself and because of that you know he took a program he came on a boot camp i didn't know he was married because you generally don't do that so he came on a boot camp because he wanted to have more sexual experiences than his wife and guys if you're getting into a marriage you guys think about this you know this should not be on the top of your head because this is a recipe for a failed marriage all right so this should not be at the top of your head that hey listen don't get married if you if you think like this do not get married just go out there fuck a bunch of women have you know attractive girlfriends and live your life man you don't have to get married all right that's just the social conditioning that we have been brought up with that you know it's a settled life what is a settled life now the term settled we have inculcated that with marriage like okay i'll be settled when i have a wife i have some kids i have my own house and guys that is all the bullshit that society has taught you right what is settled at the end of the day settled is probably you know when you're living happily when you can financially support yourself and you're living independently you're not you know dependent on anyone and i think that is settled so don't think that you know being settled just only means that settling down with one girl raising a family having a house because that is all the bullshit that society has fed us so stay away from that and guys if you if your parents are forcing you if you you know if you have a lot of societal pressure i would not suggest you succumb to that pressure and you get married because at the end of the day this is your life you cannot blame anyone once you do that once you get married it's going to be a problem and if it's a problem it's your fucking problem other people are not going to be like hey man i'm going to solve this problem for you because at the end of the day If the marriage fucks up guys it's going to be your problem it's going to be your problem because the people who are putting pressure on you they're going to just be like hey man I'm so sorry to hear that right it's just a miserable position you're in but it it is going to be your problem especially in a country like India if you end up in a divorce that's why many people do not end up in a divorce there's a certain social stigma attached to it right it'll be a little hard for you to find quality women in your life and I'm not saying it's impossible because I've helped clients do that before but it's going to be a little hard for you you might have to take a coaching program or something because at the end of the day there is a social stigma attached to divorcee men especially in a country like India which is a little conservative because girls always tend to think 
think or their parents always tend to think that there must be something wrong with the guy that's why he ended up in a divorce because in India we still kind of have that thinking that mindset so do not spoil your life because you are having societal pressure or your parents are telling you to get married if that is the case I would strongly suggest you go out explore the dating culture first maybe you need to step out of your home maybe you need to shift your location from one city to another because there's too much pressure and negativity at your home so I would strongly suggest do whatever works for you all right whatever gives you the mental peace and satisfaction do that if you think marriage is a good option if you have found the right person if you think that this girl is the most compatible person and I don't think I'm ever going to find someone more compatible than that go ahead get married but also think about your collective experience with women because at the end of the day I still don't know what kind of a woman I want but I do know what kind of woman I don't want what kind of characteristics I despise in a woman and guys this is more important so in dating rather than figuring out what kind of core characteristics or qualities you want in a woman I would always suggest when you're with different women write down exactly like I've written down a list of 300 pointers all right with different women being with different women that this is the kind of behavior I do not appreciate so for example her social behavior all right her hygiene things different things that matter to me there are different things that probably I will not stand in, in a woman for example if a girl doesn't take a shower that's a big turn off for me all right so I, I have written down that point so when I'm actually interested in a girl or when I find a girl I want to invest most of my time with I'm objectively looking at all the pointers and I'm looking what she's doing all right I'm observing her whether she fulfills my criteria or not because that is very important so instead of figuring out what kind of a woman you want try to figure out what kind of a woman you don't want and for this a good way is to just write down the pointers in your last relationships from your last relationships or right? think about the woman you've been with in the past and write down the things that affected you or things that you did not appreciate you did not like or you disliked in them and then you'll have a list and guys build on this list as much as you can before you get married so that you can get married to the right person